Perlin Project is a nonprofit corporation that is interested in exploring the upper atmosphere and inspiring folks to become involved in science and engineering. We built a pressurized sailplane that is capable of soaring in stratospheric mountain waves. And as we soar, we're able to collect atmospheric information and data that can be used by scientists to better understand the atmosphere and weather models. And of course, as a glider pilot, it's interesting to be able to soar at high altitudes without using an engine. I have been flying gliders since 1971, and it's been a lifetime passion for me. I've set 17 world records, over 100 US records. I've been world champion now 15 times in the online contest. It's a little bit art and a lot of science because we have instruments that tell us whether we're climbing or descending. We're just uh, trying to optimize the flying. The Perlin, because it's pressurized, has no leaks. And as such, it's the quietest sailplane I've ever flown, especially with the helmet on. So it's, it's a kind of a surreal experience. The airplane is designed to go to 90,000 feet. In uh, 2018, in Argentina, we flew it to 76,000. 2023, we're planning on going back to Argentina in July, and the goal will be to fly to 90,000 feet. Vestas are absolutely phenomenal. If you've seen any of the photographs that we took with the tail camera, that's what you see outside of the window. You know, the sky's getting dark. You can start to see the little uh, curvature of the earth. It gets a little cold. Um, we've seen outside air temperatures of like minus 70 degrees centigrade, less than uh, minus 100 Fahrenheit. Every sailplane does not have an alternator or generator to generate power. For the Perlin project, we're kind of power intensive. As such, it demands a good battery. In the Perlin, we have a 100 amp hour Battleborne battery and a 50 amp hour Battleborne battery. We chose Battleborne because we did a lot of research. They have an outstanding reputation. And of course, they're uh, local. All of our systems rely on electrical power. We're running all of the systems in the sailplane, the radio, the transponder, the instrumentation system. We're also running heaters. Very cold temperatures, for instance, the tail camera dies. So we have a heater on the tail camera to keep it warm enough that we can keep taking photographs. And actually, it gets so cold that we even heat the battery itself. It turns out if you use maybe 10% of the energy in the battery to heat it, you actually get 30% or so more energy. Any lithium iron phosphate battery requires a battery management system inside. For us flying the airplane, it's really critical that we have safety trips that don't allow something that is unsafe to occur inside the battery. About uh, six months ago, the Perlin Project acquired this golf cart. The downside of acquiring it was that the lead acid batteries that were in it were totally dead. We talked to the folks at Battleborn and they set us up with four of their 100 amp hour 12 volt batteries. It's been awesome since. We use it as a tool to tow the Perlin to and from the runway and run errands around the airport. The golf cart has been fantastic, totally reliable since uh, we put the new batteries in. I would just recommend to folks that are thinking about lithium iron phosphate batteries to uh, do a little research and check out Battleborn. I think they'll find that the quality and the service they get from Battleborn will be outstanding. The Battleborn model, of course, is get out there, stay out there. And after one of our world records, one of the crew members got out his magic marker and changed the logo on the battery to get up there, stay up there.